Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create dispersion animation in Photo Director 365. So I've got a Photo Director open here. I'm in the library section. Under the project tab, click on the import button at the bottom left corner and choose photos. Navigate to the folder, choose your image and click open. So here is the image. Next, go to the Guided Menu section up top. You'll see this dialog box. Click OK. And in this left side panel, drop down Animation Effects. Next, drop down Dispersion. In this left side panel, you'll see these two brushes and Add and an Erase brush. By default, the Add brush is selected. If you hover your mouse over the image, you'll see this cursor that has changed. You can increase or decrease the size of the brush, but the mouse roller like so. You can also use this slider in the left side panel to adjust the size of the brush. The add brush lets you draw on the image like so to determine from where the dispersion animation happens. If you make a mistake, you can click on the Erase Brush and then use the mouse to erase any portion like so. Once you're done, click on the Apply button in the left side panel. As you can see, it adds this Disperse effect on the image. In this section in the left side panel, there are several settings. If you drop down the shape, you can see there are several shapes. I'll stick with the default circle. Under a type, you can adjust the dispersion. You have spread, which is the default. You have straight. You have shrink. So let me go back to the default spread. You can also use these sliders for more flexibility. For example, you can use this size slider to increase the size of the shapes. You can adjust the stretch like so. You can adjust the density. And finally, you can adjust the fade. This direction knob allows you to adjust the direction of the dispersion like so. You would have noticed that this top brush section is grayed out. So if you want to activate it again, you can click this Modify Region button and it'll bring you back to the start. Let me click Apply again. Let me scroll down in this left side panel and down below, you'll see this checkbox to enable animation effect. Let me check this box and you can see that it has created this cool dispersion animation effect. You can then use the Save As button in the bottom left corner, like so. And then choose the Photo or Videos option. I'll choose the Video option. You'll see this dialog box pop up. Choose your folder and file name. Next, choose your file format. I'll stick with the MPEG-4. I'll leave the default aspect ratio to 16 by 9. Under Profile, you can choose a video resolution. I'll stick with 720p. For the duration, you can use a slider and I've set it to 15 seconds. And finally, click Produce. It'll render the video. Now, this could take a few seconds depending on the type of your project. You'll get a confirmation once the video has rendered. And this is how the dispersion animation came out. As you can see, that looks pretty cool. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.